This is a demonstration of my new low-cost electronic edge finder. Uh, I've done a lot of these, but maybe this is the final ultimate one. You can see right here is a probe. It's magnetic, just slaps on the spindle. And over here is the electronic edge finder. It's the circuit's so small it's built inside of a Harbor Freight uh, multimeter. And over here, just to keep me honest, got a Minitoyo uh, finger dial test indicator. And I am sitting at one thou above the surface. At least that's what I have it got set up. And I'm able to advance with my CNC drive by a thou. So hopefully you're not going to get car sick from this. But uh, there's the meter sitting at 0.33, and I'm going to jog down. A thou. So you see that uh, very large change in the reading. The actual numbers don't matter. What matters is the change. So uh, I jog down by a thou, and now it reads uh, 0 0.08. If I come back over here, there's my dial test indicator, pretty close to a thou down. I'm going to draw back up. And you can see that I'm back to 0.22. Jog down, 0.07. Jog up. It varies, but it, it's certainly a very noticeable change. Now, I uh, might have noticed that over here, I have my dial test indicator on a mirror. That's because the circuit detects all connections between the spindle and the reference surface and the dial test indicator was shorting it out. So I couldn't have that. The other thing is that uh, this reading over here, it's very sensitive to position of the spindle. So you can see I bumped the spindle a little bit it jumps up quite a bit. That's why it's so difficult to design uh, a simple circuit that doesn't have a meter in it because the actual readings vary all over the place, but the uh, change is what's important. And furthermore, there are times when the spindle resistance is essentially zero as read by the circuit, and if it then, if you're looking for a touchdown, you won't see it. So it's very important to first look at the number and convince yourself that it's large enough to detect the uh, touchdown. If it isn't, you just give the spindle a little bit of a twist and it'll pop right up like it just did. In this case, I have a reference surface <coughs> and a 3 8 inch dowel rod and I'm trying to detect when the dowel rod just touches that reference surface, this horizontal, this, this vertical surface here. So I've already set it up, and right now I'm sitting at a thou above the surface, and you see the meter reading 1.20, jogging one thou. So now this is where I had touched down last time, and you can see uh, this dramatic drop in the number. I go back up, making sure I get rid of the backlash. So there I'm a thou, a thou above again. And there's, a thou, there's zero right there. So the numbers change, but the, the amount of change during touchdown is, is quite different than just random fluctuations. So it's quite easy to tell when you have touchdown. Now, I'll show you one other feature. First of all, there's a couple of features here. One is the green LEDs. They're telling me that my battery voltage is sufficient for the circuit. There's also another battery, in, low battery indicator built into the meter. Now below that, 
is a red LED, and for some reason the camera shows it as white, but it's red. When I take off the magnet, which would be the same as having a poor connection, that light lights to warn me that uh, my readings aren't valid. The, n the actual number in the display looks right, but that red light is telling me, uh, don't trust it. Put it back on, everything goes back to normal. So the uh, goal here is to make sure <clears throat> that this edge finder is 100% uh, reliable and there's no conditions under which it gives you the wrong answer. Uh, if you do see a low number like this and you aren't a touchdown, then you just give the spindle a slight turn and that causes the spindle resistance to go way up and uh, you can go ahead and do your touchdown.